Good morning, good morning, good morning. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. We're going to go ahead and do a gameplay review of a game called Blockchain Heroes Blitz. You may have heard of Blockchain Heroes before, uh, so we'll, we'll kind of dive into that here in a second. But I, what I wanted to show you was the new game that they did a collaboration with FGL on. It's it very similar to Cosmic Clash, but using the, the NFTs from Blockchain Heroes. So for those of you that are not familiar with Blockchain Heroes, it is a art series that was released probably about a year and a half ago, maybe a year and a quarter ago. Uh, not sure the exact release date itself, um, but it's been out there for some time now. Uh, it's always been an art style uh, NFT, but they've decided that they actually want to go ahead and connect a game along with it. Uh, using the existing NFTs that are already out there and really just kind of co coordinating that, not only having the, the artistic value to it, but also really giving you uh, some sort of utility or function or gameplay that goes along with it that has rewards from going ahead and, and doing that process. So they, as I mentioned, teamed up with FGL and then put together uh, this, uh, the block or Blockchain Heroes Blitz. In order to play the Blockchain Heroes Blitz, what you need to use is you need to use, go to Official Hero, that's the collection on Atomic Hub. And once you're there, the cards that are eligible to be used for it are the Series 3.x. It's these kind of cards here. It's the actual, the graphical cards that go along with it. You'll be able to use in the game and you can go ahead and play along with the game and try and rank up uh, higher and higher on the leaderboard. And we'll walk through all the details for that. I'll actually dive into that, show you the game itself. So technically the game is kind of in an, uh, an alpha beta format or practice format. Um, it hasn't officially kicked off the first season or the first tournament that's out there. Uh, but you can go ahead now if you have the, these NFTs for blockchain heroes. You can go ahead in and start practicing and I'll show you how to do that. If you go ahead and go to heroesblitz.com, and I'll have a link in the description down below so you can go ahead and check it out. It's going to take you to this page where you go ahead and hit play. It'll allow you to log in using your Wax wallet. And if you are in there uh, and you have NFTs, you're going to go ahead and see your NFTs down at the bottom here. My account is set up essentially to be a tester account. So I have uh, all of the NFTs that are available just to kind of show you what the game looks like, the different rarities. Um, so, but if you have specific NFTs, you'll see yours down here at the bottom and you see the art style. It's, it's a really cool art style. Um, but what we're going to do is, as I said, we're going to walk through in the cards or in the game, there are two types of cards. There are the heroes, uh, that have the H up here and you'll see the H on the top left here. And then you have villains and that shows the V in the top left here. That's how you can tell if it's a heroes or villains. Your goal is to make two sets of teams, five in each team, uh, one set of heroes, five of them, and one set of villains. Uh, and they have to be all different cards. You can't you can't have duplicate cards in there. Uh, very similar to Cosmic Clash. So you have that out there. And what you're going to do is you're going to compete against other players. There's a lot of PvP action where you can go ahead and try and rank up uh, higher and higher on the leaderboard. You get 20 battles a day. Uh, and every day that resets and then you can continue and go through the entire uh, tournament once it's available. Uh, just, again, similar to Cosmic Clash. Um, the neat thing with this is uh, each of these cards has different special abilities based on the, the rarity uh, and they all have special stats. Um, so in order to see all those details, if you click on card stats here on the side, it's going to take you and it's going to show you all the different cards that are available within the game. Uh, and then what you can do, for example, before I actually dive into that, um, you'll see here in this uh, this card right here, let's actually go with the, the grid, grid master here. The top line is the rarity. This is the power and also tells you the type of battle or attack it is. There's two different types of attacks. There is energy and there is physical. Energy goes ahead and battles the, the barrier, which is kind of like a shield. Uh, and then physical goes directly towards uh, the character's health that you're attacking. So just like I mentioned, uh, each character has the, a shield that goes along with it. Lower levels, lower amounts of shield, higher levels, higher levels uh, of the shield. Uh, and then once your health, which is the bottom number, when you're attacking, once that gets to zero, your character is considered done. Uh, dead, however you want to say it. 
So it's it's actually interesting that if you have a bunch of characters that have physical attacks, they're going to go straight at the health. They're going to ignore the barrier. So there may be some strategy there that you may want to note uh, just in case. Um, but you can go ahead and tell if it has energy weapons by this icon. Uh, and here's the physical, which is more of a fist. Uh, that shows you the physical. It actually shows you the attack power. When they hit, it's usually around two or that attack power. It shows that they have the 10. This character has 10 uh, of the, the barrier or the shield, however you want to say it. And then they have 10 health. What you can do in this card stats menu is you can actually check out the different rarities. For example, if I go to Epic, you're going to see another item added here, and that's special. Any character that is Epic or above is going to have a special power that they can use within the game. Some of them are to raise the health of your, your characters on your team. Other, the, other of them are to attack the lowest health on the other team or have a double attack or some sort of special that goes along with it. And each character, and often between rarities, uh, there is a difference with some sort of aspect of the special. But now you can see a couple things changed. Uh, it still has the, the energy weapon, but higher damage, higher barrier. They went from a 10 up to a 30, and the health went from a 10 up to a 20. Then the special is a, a bonus damage uh, on characters, their first attack only. Basically, when they uh, it attacks one character for the first time, it's going to give bonus damage to it. So that's uh, its special. If I go all the way up to secret, it's going to get a, a it's still going to have the same uh, bonus. Uh, but it's going to have higher health and all, all that. Um, some characters are actually slightly different when you get to special. Uh, it's a slightly different special that goes along with it. But you can go ahead and you can explore. If you already have cards available, you can go ahead and check them out, see what you have. Or if you want certain stats, you want to strategize and, and there's a meta within the game. Again, it just came out, so you don't know what that is yet. Uh, you can go ahead and find the best combination of cards and go to the secondary market and make sure you grab the one that you want. So this is a great reference uh, guide here. Uh, and again, it is the card stat section that's available here. Next, we're going to go ahead and talk about the rankings. Uh, again, this is when the tournament kicks off. It does say that the tournament's in progress. But again, we're just in practice right now. Uh, and, and we're going to go ahead through that, proce that practice process uh, until the first tournament kicks in there. And as I mentioned previously, you go ahead and you get 20 attacks a day. And when you go through those attacks, you're going to fight someone that is a five ranking higher than you or five ranking low within that range of 10 players. And you'll go ahead and attack them. If you win, you get three medals. If you lose, you actually lose a medal. So depending on your winning and losing, you'll go up and down the rankings. And you can see in this practice tournament, uh, you'll be able to win some very good prizes within the within the game. So it connects, and it and, and you can see it. They're also using the FGL token, so it's connecting uh, this game with the rest of the FGL games. So it's just adding to the catalogs of of the FGL games. All right, now let's go ahead and jump over to battles. I'll show you how to set up your teams. I'll show you how to go ahead and do a battle, and we'll get some results from it and, and just walk through that process. So we're over here on the battle screen, and when you first go in, it's going to be all on assigned. And like I said, you need five different heroes, five different villains. Uh, so you can't just use all the same hero across the board. Um, you're going to scroll down here, and what you're also going to see, these are the rules of this specific tournament. Again, this is an example. This is not the actual first tournament. I just want to keep saying that just to make sure everybody, there's, there's no confusion there. Uh, for this specific example... Each of the, the lineups can have 22 points. Commons are one point, uncommons are two points, and so on, but you need it to add up to five. It kind of balances out, so you can't have someone that has all legendary or mythics running them all across the lineup and attacking someone that has all commons and uncommons. Uh, they are limited to how many they have. They still have the advantage. They can still have a, a couple legendaries and a special uh, or a secret one, I guess they're called in this game. Uh, compared to uh, commons and uncommons, so they still have that advantage. Uh, but as you're ranking, and since we're only using the within the 10 range, five above, five below, it should be a very even battles when you're going through the process. Again, very similar co Cosmic Clash in the way they're doing it there. Uh, and as you as I mentioned, uh, you can go all the way up to secrets in, in this specific example. So what we're going to do is we're going to slide down here. 
Uh, I'm actually going to show you a team full of physical uh, heroes. Oops, let's try that again. If I click the right thing, you can go ahead and filter. And we're going to do a, a team full of heroes that have physical damage. They, they conduct physical damage. And then we'll do a, a uh, our villains will be a mixture between the two. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and check out these guys. Um, if you have any questions on their stats, you can go ahead and hit this little, uh, the little information button. It shows all their specials or their specials, all their different stats. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to show you. So we'll go ahead and just select this one. There is strategies that you can go ahead and go around if you have enough cards. I'm just going to grab a few. You saw I just added that by clicking the add button. If I scroll up, you see it uses eight points. So I have uh, 24, oh, I'm sorry, 14 points, math, it's easy. <laughs> uh, I have 14 points left. So we'll go ahead and just add a few more in here. Uh, add an epic in here. Uh, and again, I'm just kind of showing you, now I'm using 19, so I have two more slots open. I can do an uncommon and I can do a common. So we'll go ahead and do that uncommon, that common. So you can scroll up here, if it's over 22, what you're gonna see is you're gonna see it in red that shows you that you can't move forward. Uh, so, so just make sure that you're within the cap and you can be under that cap, but you still need a lineup of five, five characters. So let's go ahead and do the villains. We're gonna do a mixture of the two weapon types and we're gonna filter it for villains only. And what I'm gonna do, go through here, we'll just do a random secret rarity. Uh, we'll go here and do a legendary. We'll go here and do a another legendary. And I think I have room for two more, two more commons. So we'll grab this guy and this guy. Um, again, the cards down here will be what you have in your inventory. I'm in a, a practice mode uh, that gives me access to all of them. So um, this is the lineup right now. You see they both equal 22 points. And when we go ahead into the practice by clicking this button up here, what it's going to do is it's going to be very similar uh, to Cosmic Clash. It's going to take up there. It's going to go from left to right, your attackers, uh, and you're competing against another player. But it's only five on five. So let's go ahead and click on practice. And it's going to ask you, do you want to skip the battle simulation? Which you can. Uh, if you're in a hurry or you want to get through, you can. For this video, I'm going to go ahead and show the battle sequence. Um, so it's going to come up here. It's going to ask you if you want to start the battle. Uh, I'm going against Nemo, and again, this is my wallet down here, so my cards are going to be on the bottom. And then it does automatic, so you can go ahead and see it's already attacking uh, and going through, just taking my life. You can see on the stats here that the top bar here is the barrier or the shield, however you want to call it, and the bottom is the health. So when I go through the health, that card that I'm going against, or when they're going against me, is going to go ahead and die. So we're, we're working through it right now. Um, down here on the bottom, you can pause the battles, you can fast forward the battles, or you can go ahead and skip the battles uh, completely. We're gonna let this run for a little bit just so you can show, show you how it's going through. Uh, you can see this guy's almost done. If I can get one more physical attack on him, he should be done and same with this guy. And you can see that since these are all physical fighters, they're going right for the health. They're, they're skipping right past that barrier, which is, seems to be a little bit of bonus there. Um, plus, I have some some higher level character or higher rarity characters with a, a secret, for example. So we're fighting. We're going through it. Um, you're going to start seeing some of these characters on the top die here. Uh, for example, you just saw him go. Uh, so we'll clear out this pretty quickly. I should win this one, assuming nothing crazy happens. Um, so we're just going to go ahead and you see another target go down. They actually got this guy down here. He's very close to dying. Uh, I should be able to take out these two very soon. Um, I, and then we can go ahead and show you the results of it. And then I'll go ahead and show you a fast forwarded uh, approach to it. They did take out one of my characters, uh, but we are working through it. Um, so we'll just continue to push through this battle. Um, like I said, it's very similar to Cosmic Clash. If you like Cosmic Clash, uh, you're able to use cards that have been around for a while. Uh, they now have used to them and they're now within the FGL kind of collection of games. Uh, you'll be able to win FGL tokens. 
uh, that can be used in other FGL games. And it's just a nice connection between all and allowing people to use cards that they, they may have purchased a year ago uh, for the art style. So it's, it's a neat addition that they're adding in here. And you can see, I just took out the last one. I won this one. Uh, so we'll go ahead and click on it. And then you can go see, you can see I defeated them. I did not get any medals because this is a practice round. Uh, when you actually go ahead and do the battle for the tournament, uh, again, if you win, you get three medals. If you lose, you get minus one medal. Uh, so that you should be aware of that. What we're going to do is we're going to do one more practice run. In the practice run, it's unlimited. You can do as many battles a day as you want during this practice round. Once we get to the actual tournament, then you're limited to 20 uh, per day. So let's go ahead and do another one. I am going to battle, but I'm going to go ahead and do the fast forward approach, which you're going to see it's going to do multiple attacks at a time. Uh, it looks like I have the same same people and you can see it's jumping through a whole lot quicker uh, by doing basically a full round of attacks at one time uh, and it, it speeds up the process so it all depends on what you want to do when you're going ahead and and testing it out and playing one thing i did want to note uh once the tournament is available uh and you can go ahead and play within the tournament in order to sign up for the tournament you're going to go have to go ahead and make sure you have your lineup set you have all your characters in there for the lineup then what you're going to go ahead and do is click on the sign up button at the bottom here. And what it's going to do is allow you to sign up. The first entry fee is free. Uh, anything beyond that, you're going to go ahead and pay an additional fee of FGL within it. So you just click on sign up. It's going to go ahead and validate everything, basically signing you into it. Uh, and then you are, then you are signed up. You can see the sign up is gone. Uh, I now have a battle option on the top here. And what we're going to go ahead and do is just do a quick, uh, again, a fast forward battle option here, um, just to show you the actual battle. This this will be when the tournament is available, um, not for the practice round. So again, I'm going to click on the fast forward. We'll go through this pretty quickly. Uh, already took at least one of their guys out, two of their guys. So we'll, we'll continue through this uh, and push through the battle. And it looks like we just have... We have one, we just ended up winning that. And then you can see I got three badges and I can go ahead and I'll move up the rankings on the leaderboard. If I go here, there we go, I am at five. So if the season ended in this fake tournament right now, I would get 3,333 FGL. So what are my thoughts on the game itself? I like it. I, I like it for multiple reasons. I, I, I'm not the... I, I'm trying to think how to say this right. I like the fact that there are art NFTs out there within the community. I think that's great. It gives people a chance to go ahead and really express their art style. I think that's awesome. I'm not the biggest follower of art. I, I just enjoy the gaming side better. So I, it's no knock on the art because I know it's a huge part of the community. It's just I like the gaming side of it. So I like the fact that they're adding in a... a an established or a, a collection that's been around for a while, adding some gaming utility to it. Plus they're combining with the FGL, uh, again, catalog that's out there. So I really like that. Um, so it's, it's, it's a neat one. I'm excited to see how, uh, once the tournament starts, how many players get involved, what the prizes are going to be for that, uh, and really see how people get into the game compared to, again, the Cosmic Clash was a very similar setup to it. Uh, so let me know down in the comments below, one, do you have any blockchain heroes, NFTs that you have sitting in your wallet somewhere? And two, are you going to go ahead and test out the game, uh, add it as an additional item for FGL, uh, your, your catalog, again, still owned by the same people that owned, uh, the original collection. They are just collaborating with the FGL folks in order to kind of put the game around it. So it's not owned by FGL. It's a collaboration with FGL. Just want to make sure that was clear. And last but not least, all of this was not, uh, not financial advice. Please make sure you're doing research. I should have said that ahead of time, even though I didn't really talk about sale, but be smart. Uh, make sure anything that you get into is right for your situation. Don't just follow because of someone on a video said so. Um, again, down in the comments below, let me know how you liked it and I'll talk to you later.